Hello and welcome back to the Advanced Excel class. My name is Trisha Jukhtiani and in our first tutorial, we had started with understanding the main parts of the Excel interface and also I had shown you the important part of formatting cells in Excel. Today, I'll take you through the two amazing tools in Excel used for organizing data. Sort and filter are most commonly used feature to help you do this. Let's look at the sort command first. As you add more content to the worksheet, organizing this information becomes especially important and it can be quickly done by sorting the data. For example, you can organize a list of employees by their employee ID. The content can be sorted alphabetically, numerically, and many other ways. To sort data, we need to select the cell in the column that you want to sort by. Like in our example, we can see that the data is given for the monthly sales of the organization. Now this would be in lakhs. We need to sort the data in such a way that the highest sale or the month where the highest sale has happened is shown first and then the lesser goes down. In order to do that, I will first select the column where the sales data is. I can keep the cursor anywhere there and I can either use this sort box or use the A to Z or Z to A option, which is a shortcut given on the ribbon. Now the sort option is available under the data tab. So under the data tab, because I want to do a descending order, I will use the Z to A. Z to A, if you keep your mouse over, Excel will automatically mention sort largest to smallest. Now, when I click on that, you will see that the highest value is coming on the top and then the next highest and then the next highest. So it is sorted the values in the descending order. Now, this was about the numbers. If I wanted to sort alphabetically, I can use the sort function by selecting the column where the alphabets are and use the A to Z or Z to A method. Now, if you notice here, the months, if you try to sort, it will automatically sort in the alphabetical order. Let's try that. So, if I do A to Z, it will show up A all will come in the start and accordingly it will go down. However, if I want to show the sales in the chronological order, which is starting from Jan and going up to December, I cannot use the simple sort function. I'll have to customize it. Now, in order to customize it, I will click on the sort button or the box that you can see here. The sort dialog box will open up. In this dialog box, I can go to the sort by option, select the option or the column where I want to sort by, which is the month. Now, sort on. So what I want to sort on is the cell values and the order will not be A to Z or Z to A. If I want to do that, I could have done it from here. However, I need to customize it. So I'll click on the custom list. As soon as I list click on the custom list, the custom list option will open up. In this dialog box, you will see a number of things which are already available. Now, these are few things which are by default there on every system. So if you look at the Jan, Feb, March, April, May, that's the chronological order of the months that is given here. I can pick up that and then click on OK. So I'm telling Excel that I want to filter or sorry, I want to sort this data as per the chronological order of the months. Hence, I had to go onto the custom list. I click on OK and now you can see that the months are now sorted in the chronological order as I wanted it. This was about how you can sort your data with a single criteria. What if you had multiple criteria to sort by? For example, if you look at my next sheet, you can see that I have the list of regions given uh, for the employees, the month in which they have made some sales, and then I can see the sales data for each region that is mentioned here. I want to first sort the region wise information and that would be done uh, in in the normal a to z or z to a method so i'm going to use a to z so it is now sorted however 
after it is sorted by region, I want to see in East, I want to see the data from Jan to December. So in East, the Jan should come first. In East, Feb should come second, then March, then April. So in the chronological order, under the region, it should show me for East, Jan to December, for West, Jan to December, for North, well, Jan to December, and South, Jan to December. This is how I want to see the data. Now, in order to do that, here it comes where I have multiple level sorting. So here, if I just directly click on A to Z or Z to A, it will remove the sorting from the first level. So what I have to do is I have to add the levels. So to do that, I will click on this sort box again. In this, you can see that the first level sorting is already done. I want to add the second level sorting. So what I'll do is I'll select add level and you should make sure that it has gone below the first sort level. Once it is done, then end by you can select as month. And in this case, again, we are going to take the custom list because we want it in a chronological order. So Jan, Feb, March and click on OK. Click on OK again and it will now show me the data in the chronological order in each of the region. Same way, if I want in the chronological order, if I want to also show it in the number wise, like which is the highest sale which month, that also can be done here. So this is how you can do or add levels of sorting in case you have multiple levels that you want to sort by. Now let's move on to the second part of this tutorial and that's the filter. Filtering data refers to displaying only the rows that meets certain criteria and the other rows are then hidden. So let's look at the example that I have on the sheet. In our example, I have the employee data, which has all the information like their first name, last name, department, region, hire date and salary with other information available. Let's say I want to first try and filter the data as per the department and only want to show the data where the employees are in the sales department. In order to do that, I will first have to click or keep my cursor anywhere on the database so I can keep it anywhere and then go to the data tab and click on filter. As soon as I do that, Excel will automatically pick the heading and add the filter on the headers. Once the filter has been added, you will see a small icon next to each of the name of the header, which looks like a drop down or a small arrow uh, next to those headers. Now, because I want to do a filter on the department, I can click on this drop down menu. Under the drop down menu, I can see the search box which is given. And in the search box, I can type the name of the particular uh, field or particular department that I'm looking for. Once I do that, the, that particular department will pop up and I can click on OK. Once I've been, done that, you can see only the data for the sales has been seen, but that does not mean that the other data is deleted. You can see from this list that from the second row, we, on the ninth row is highlighted. That means the rest of the four rows are hidden within. It's not deleted. Now moving back, and if I want to do uh, add more uh, filter to this so for example if i want to add admin to this department so i want the data for admin and sales in that case i can always look for admin from this list and click on ok what happens is now it is giving me the list of admin and sales in this information now if i want to remove the filter from this i can just click on clear and the filter will be go a filter will be gone the filter icon will be will remain like the arrow key but the filter will be removed from the list now this was very simple to identify from this list where the admin sits and i pick and get the result for admin and sales however let's say i want to filter the data for two branches and that's jammu and mumbai if i put a drop or select the drop down Looking for Jammu and Mumbai in this list is going to be a task. So definitely I'm going to start with entering the information in the search box. I got Jammu. But I also want to add Mumbai into this list. Now when I type Mumbai and click on OK, the Mumbai data will only be displayed. The Jammu data will be 
will not be available it will be hidden how do i ensure that both the data is available by using this search box so i type so mumbai is been selected once mumbai is selected then i go back into this drop down menu and enter jammu this time after doing that i will put a tick box or uh, put a tick next to the box saying add current selection to the filter so that is saying that whatever is selected right now that is mumbai keep that and add jammu to it once i do that you will see that jammu and mumbai data is now displayed on the list so this was about how you filter the data with just one uh, column but if you want to filter the data for two columns for example if i want to identify sales department and east region i can easily go on to this i can enter this sales data here in the search box and click on okay and in the region also i can go back and enter east and it will give me the data for sales and east all the rest of the data will be hidden so this is how you perform the simple filter function in excel now we know that uh, to perform a simple filter you just need to click on the drop down menu next to the header for which you want to filter now using the same menu you can search for the values that appears in this column so we are going to see the advanced techniques of filtering so how do i do that so let's say if i want to go on to the uh, say the department column and i only want to show data where the sales is not mentioned so i repeat i only want to see the data for the employees that are not working in sales so rather than me selecting all of them and removing the sales what i can do is i can go into text filters and then say it does not equal sales what will this do is it will remove all the data where the sales department uh, employee list is there and it will hide it and the rest of the information will be available for you now this was about the text filter this option is also available for numbers number filters will be displayed for cells that contains numbers in our example let's say i want to filter data of the employees whose salary is between 12000 and 20000 So in order to do that I will access the number filter by clicking on the filter icon and selecting the option number filter Now instead of doing that I can uh, instead of just going on to the number filter and saying does not equal to I have this option where it says that I can use the between option now what is that between option let's see so i click on the number filter and click on between in the between option i can just say is greater than or less than 20000 sorry 12000 uh, so the number is between yeah 12000 or 20000 so greater than or equal to 12000 and less than or equal to 20000 so this is going to be between click on okay so anything that is between these two numbers will only be filtered by excel similarly you can also use other options like less than greater than less than or equal to greater than or equal to etc to filter your data as per your requirement okay now next comes the date filter This is very useful filter because you can do a lot with this filter. You can filter data from certain time period like last year, last month, last week, between two dates, etc. So let's see from an example how are we going to do that? I click on the higher date because that is where the dates are. I go on to the date filter and here you can see all the options that are available. So if you want to filter the date to show the employees who have joined between 1st february 2019 to 31st july 2019 we will use the between in filter at the dates in the options just like we had done last time let us try that or rather there is no dates here like that so we can try 19 
89 as a date so i'm suppose jan 1989 to 31st jan 1989 so go to the date filter here and here we will try the between same like we had done for our other function that is the number here we will do the same thing for date also you can either select the date from here because now the dates are very old so we are going to type it down so it becomes easier for us to manage it or you can select it from this list if you if you wish to here i'm going to let me just change it to 1989 and let's say it's first jan so i'm going to pick that so is after or equal to same thing here 31st july 1989 so here you can see the dates are only filtered between these two dates which we had mentioned earlier so this is how you can perform different kinds of custom uh, filter by using the options custom filter which is given on this list the date filter the number filter uh the uh, text filter all these can be used by uh, in the filter option so you can see how filter command can narrow things down really quickly and give you the data that you need hope you found this useful thank you for watching and keep watching for more such videos to know more follow and subscribe to upgrad